आर नेक्स्ट इवेंट सो वैसे आप सब बहुत अच्छे लग रहे हो जितने लोग का कैमरा दिख रहा है जितने लोग की फोटो दिख रही है सब बहुत ही अच्छे लग रहे हैं सो बट दिस इज नथिंग लाइक इट इफ इट कम्स नेचुरली फ्रॉम इट राइट सो एंड हु वुड वॉन्ट टू यूज any harsh chemicals from the world world that is open to uh, the beauty products and makeups and everything in every shapes and sizes and hame kuch uh, natural mil jaye to wo kisko nahi chahiye so hum kisi bhi jagah hote hain तो कोई भी कंपनी मान लीजिए खुल जाती है राइट आज कोई मर्सडीज का ब्रांड यहाँ खुल गया वहां खुल गया नई नई चीजें आती हैं मेकअप के ब्रांड्स आते हैं कोई इलेक्ट्रिकल अप्लायसेंस के ब्रांड आते हैं जब भी हम कुछ खरीदते हैं व्हाट इज द फर्स्ट थिंग वी सी आफ्टर दैट स्पेशली इफ यू आर इन्वेस्टिंग बिगर अमाउंट ऑफ मनी उसका सर्विस सेंटर कैसा है राइट right? तो हर कंपनी सबसे पहले अपना जहां भी प्रोडक्ट लॉन्च करती है अपना एक अच्छा सर्विस सेंटर लॉन्च करती है तो भगवान ने भी हमारे लिए ऐसा ही कुछ किया है अगर हमें लॉन्च किया है तो नेचर में ही प्लांट्स में ही हमारे लिए सारी रेमेडीज भी लॉन्च करी हुई है इट जस्ट डिपेंड्स ऑन हस हाउ नाइसली वी कैन टेक ऑल दैट राइट so uh, the mother nature has done that for us but now we have if we have willing to learn we have many mentors who are ready to guide us and take us through all these journeys so our uh, next speaker will also be related to this ayurveda which holds the scientific remedies for all all natural plant producers it's considered to be the medical science and we we it is said that it is transmitted from the gods then to the sages and then to human physicians its roots are from india and now it's spreading worldwide and it makes all of us indians staying anywhere i am here in singapore but i feel so proud of my country i was in japan earlier and i was leading uh, for uh, indian culture there and i had done a lot of events uh, related to uh, for take forward my indian culture over there through embassies and through many and i'm telling you people just love it and they still don't know everything about the culture but once they start getting know i had like over 1000 students under me and each and everybody wanted to visit india just after attending few events they wanted to uh, experience yoga they wanted to experience ayurveda their classical dancing classical music from all over the world okay getting back to what we were talking sorry i get got carried away uh, i really really thank to all the practitioners and manufacturers uh, manufacturers who are bringing such products to all of our lives now our next guest speaker is an expert in this field so i should not be saying much and she's holding an md in ayurveda she is a founder of abja a brand for hair and skin care remedy products abja has already completed its eight successful years in the market and let's welcome the name behind it lady with the beauty and the brain dr priya patki ma'am we invite you here to share your intensive knowledge about ayurveda and its association and to help us increase our beauty as well here forward <laughs> over to you ma'am thank you so much saru thank you for this wonderful i i hope i'm audible yeah so thank you so much for this wonderful introduction and first of all thank you dr nutan for uh, you know uh, giving me an opportunity to say few words uh, in front of this wonderful audience and i want to congratulate you also for completing this four years and garbha sanskar is very very important it is not for a personal thing i believe that you can see lot of things happening in our society lot of uh, bad things that you know the mental also so garbha sanskar is not for ourselves but it's for a society's health and i feel if we want to future society to be mentally and physically healthy that is very very important so i think you are doing a great job i uh, congratulate you and wish i wish you many more years to come and also thank you dr shweta it was a very nice to hear and uh, it was wonderful so let's not waste time because we are already uh, late so we'll just finish with uh, i'll just share my screen okay meanwhile dr priya is sharing the screen i would also like to thanks dr priya for uh, saying yes uh, coming here actually we uh, were ayurveda doctor but we never met in india i was telling dr sweta just before we started meeting we met in london uh, yeah. when we were doing our fellowship in ayurveda so and then since then i think uh, we were best friend 
and uh, we share same thing even if we have different focus organ in the body <laughs> she is more focused on the skin and i am more focused on uterus and dr swetha is focused on brain so i think each and every organ has its own identity and for what we need to learn from our body and organs are even if they are separate but they are working for one important body that is every one individual body and they are working in the synchronized way there is no indifference there is no competition there is no uh, jealousy there is nothing you know they are working for making that life beautiful and that's what i love about our whole human being so thank you uh, over to you dr priya yeah thank you so much dr nutan so today's topic is skin care during pregnancy uh, so first of all um, like skin care during pregnancy when we say about it uh, we should know what a skin is and why we need a separate whether we need a separate skin care from your regular routine and from the uh, pregnancy so we will go uh, step by step first of all uh, what is a skin to you you know when you talk about the pregnancy everywhere on the uh, models and you know uh, social media they pour you with the things that okay pregnancy glow pregnancy glow but do we really get the pregnancy glow yes we definitely get the pregnancy glow but there are few uh, women which in there they, we see reverse you know we see that their uh, skin erupts you get they get pregnancy acne they get hyperpigmentation and why this happens like for few of the ladies they can get a glow skin glowy skin and few of the ladies is the reverse so we will just talk about why it is so and then what we can do to have that pregnancy glow and avoid uh, the uh, symptoms which we see in the pregnancy So first of all, why do we need the special skincare during the pregnancy? So uh, I will just tell, I tell you about the skin. The skin, I call it as a two-way mirror. Two-way mirror in the sense what you see from outside. Like there are spots, there may be moles, there may be redness. This is the outside. But actually, this is seen what is going inside your body. So it is a reflection of what goes inside your body. So that's why I say that it's a two-way mirror. And uh, it's not just the local application. That's why, you know, Ayurveda plays a very good, important role in the uh, skin health because it does not talk about the local application, but that there is something to take from inside. It can be the diet, it can be the exercise and everything. So whatever goes inside your body, it reflects. So just you don't sleep for maybe proper sleep two days and you see uh, that you're getting dark circles around the eyes. Or maybe if you have got a fever and then after that you see that, you know, your skin glow changes and everyone asks you, oh, what happened? Are you sick or something? So whatever is inside your body that reflects on the skin. So when we talk about the pregnancy, there are a lot of things are happening. You know, you are giving birth, you are giving a life, you are bringing life in the uh, in the world. So there are a lot of things, physical changes happen in your body, like your uh, uterus grows, your abdomen grows, your body is preparing for uh, delivering a baby and uh, forming a milk in the breast. So there are a lot of physical things happening in the body. These things happens along with this. There are a lot of hormonal things happen also because everything your body is altogether preparing for this new change and that's why there are a lot of hormonal changes happens like estrogen progesterone secretion is more i won't go deep into that but there are hormonal changes there are melanocytes secreting hormones which increase and according to ayurveda we say that vat and pitta dosh increases in your body and there are two life you are carrying, like your own life and the breath. So there has to be a synchronization for that your body is preparing. There are a lot of changes happening. And there are a lot of blood supply happening to certain parts of the body. And that's why you see many changes on the skin. Because whatever goes inside, it shows. It's a reflection. So what are the common skin changes during the pregnancy? First is a hyperpigmentation. Now what is hyperpigmentation? Hyper is more. So your skin becomes more darker. So we have a skin pigments which is called as a melanin. And the secretion because in the pregnancy there is a hormone called as melanin secreting 
uh, melanocyte secreting hormone, stimulating hormone, which stimulates the uh, cells which produce melanin. And that's why you may have this uh, more of the melanin. And that's why you get hyperpigmentation. Second thing is stretch marks. Everyone is aware of the stretch marks. I'll just read out the things and one by one, we will go what it is and I'll uh, make you understand. Then other thing is pregnancy acne. If you feel that teenage is the only thing where you can get the acne, then you might be wrong. Uh, you also get, there are few women who get pregnancy acne and it can happen reverse also. You know, those those women who have been getting acne throughout their life, suddenly in the pregnancy, they see change and suddenly they get a clear skin. So I'll explain you why this happens. Uh, next thing is skin itching. You might feel itch around the body, particularly on the abdomen, on the thighs and on the palms and soles. Uh, skin hypersensitivity. Hypersensitivity, you may uh, see redness or uh, there can be patches in the skin. And you can see uh, there are increase in the skin tags or walks. Th these are small like, a. Uh, uh, I hope everyone is aware of that. I'll show you the pictures also so you'll understand what is the skin tags and walks. And lastly, but not the least is the skin glow. This also is due to the hormonal changes in your body. And what in this lecture we have to achieve is all the above we have to avoid and we have to come to the skin glow during the pregnancy. Uh, so what Ayurveda says, I'll tell you a rough, uh, like a general uh, Ayurveda ritual for a healthy skin in pregnancy, what you should follow. And it is, as you see, there are certain uh, symptoms, what, what I have told you, this can be with the normal people also. So the hyperpigmentation can be with the normal also. And uh, the hyperpigmentation can particularly for the pregnancy. So I will, I will tell you uh, the hyperpigmentation in the pregnancy and what happens for the common people. So this is the ritual which even a common people can have a normal ladies and particularly in pregnancy, you should be you should be doing this ritual. So first of all, Ayurveda believes that the skin health depends on the Agni. So what is Agni? Agni is the digestive fire. So it is not just a, and, and the other thing is Rasadhatu. So when we say the life, it comes from the Agni. You know, in Gita, we say that Aham uh, Noro Anni Praninam Deham Ashrita. So the Shri Krishna is saying that I am the Agni or Vaishwanar, which is Agni, which is resides in your body. So that importance is given to Agni in Ayurveda. And that digestive fire is not just the fire, it's not just the digestive juices. You know, when you take any uh, diet or when you take any food, so that gets converted into your body tissues. So like your hair, your skin, your blood. And there are, now you don't directly drink blood to make your blood strong. Like, you know, you eat normal food, which gets converted into blood. So there are different, the food has to go through a lot of changes. And everywhere during the changes where that is Agni. So it's a vast uh, importance is given to Agni and it is not just a digestive fire which is there in the belly, but it is in every tissue. So your health of, if your Agni is strong, you can have that skin glow. So when you see those yogis and all, they don't eat, you know, the power food or something. They just meditate. They just eat the normal food, but you can feel their glow. So sometimes you see a knowledgeable people and you see that they don't do any skin rituals, but just because their Agni is strong, you can feel the glow. So it is very, very important to maintain or protect your Agni. Other thing is that we believe that uh, Ayurveda says that there are seven dhatus, like a body tissues. Our body tissues, they have, uh, Ayurveda has uh, divided into seven the first body tissue is rasadhatu. You can correlate it with a plasma. And as you know, the skin health is very, very important if your rasadhatu is proper. The very prime uh, body tissue, if it is get if it is formed to a sara, that is the healthiest way, then your skin glows. So we have when we have to think about the skin health, we have to think about this Agni and Rasadhatu. Now, what we should do to maintain your Agni? So, Agni, as I said, the digestive fire. 
So the digestion to be normal, we know that it requires, it's a fuel, like say agni. And what is a fuel for this agni is the food. So we have to eat a proper food. That's a diet. Other thing is sleep. Ayurveda believes that there are three pillars of a healthy life. That is ahar, nidra and brahmacharya. Ahar is a diet. Nidra is a proper sleep. And brahmacharya. Brahmacharya is not abstinence, but it is a controlled sex. So these three pillars are very, very important. So I would say your sleep is very, very important for your skin health. You know, as uh, Dr. Sweta has talked about sleep, how the brain waves in the sleep. Like if you go into that, there are a lot of uh, things happening and a lot of reconstruction happens during the sleep. It is very, very important to have a good sleep. Second is exercise and yoga. Yes. As we say, exercise is a simple exercise that you should follow. And uh, you are the you are student of uh, Dr. Newton. So obviously, you know about yoga sense and she teaches you about the breathing exercise and which are very, very important, not just when you're pregnant, but otherwise also for your skin health, because that is important to maintain your agni. Breathing exercise, as uh, Dr. Sweta also has said, is very, very important to not just to... Again, the brain, we say there is also a agni in brain. Wherever you say a transformation, your uh, whatever thoughts comes and it gets transformed into certain things. So there also the Agni works. So if you want to work on the Agni, you have to do exercise, yoga, pass, breathing. Uh, one more thing is when we talk about digestion or when we talk about ahar, there are certain things in Ayurveda which is mentioned as Viruddhana. Viruddhana, uh, I hope I'm not going fast because it's uh, less time. So are you understanding it? Okay. So Viruddhana is there are certain combinations which Ayurveda says as Viruddha and you shouldn't follow, you shouldn't be doing that because it can alter or it can kill your Agni. So what are those combinations? A very, very, um, I, even the di uh, even the dietitians and all, they, they uh, say that, you know, milkshakes, you know, uh, milk and fruit together, it's strictly no. Especially with the citrus fruit, you should not be having this. But you see that, you know, uh, people are having uh, smoothies and all. So that is strictly no. Especially, you can have dry fruit milkshakes. But if the fruits are citrus, you should not be having viruddhana. Because it creates what we call it as a, uh, like a dushi wish. Wish is a poison. So it creates a poison in the body. And uh, everyone knows like uh, what, what will be the repercussion of the poison if you are creating that in the body. Then there are certain things which a fish or a non-veg with the curd, which is also viruddhana. And I'm just giving you the examples that we do, you know, viruddhana without knowing. So whenever you, those non-vegetarians, they know that when you want to cook a chicken, everywhere it say that you marinate in a mill, in a curd, which is strictly no. You can marinate it in uh, maybe uh, lemon, but not in the curd. Other thing is like with the non-veg food, you try, you eat ice cream as a dessert or you have many dessert with the milk. That is also strictly known. Then avoid excessive heat and sun exposure. Because this heat is directly, say this is like a warrior. You know, we say that skin is a, um, we've been learning since our school days that this is a barrier and this protects something which, goes inside our body you know the the uh, certain things to it it is like acts as a barrier and it, it won't let things to go inside your skin inside your body so that's like a warrior so you have to protect that from excessive heat and expo sun exposure because then i said uh, the melanin melanocyte which is the melanin secreting cells they when you expose it to the, uh, they already in the pregnancy, they, there is a lot of hormonal secretion, this melanocyte stimulating hormone. So that's why already you have a tendency to tan. Plus, if you go out in the sun, if you expose to the ultraviolet rays and all, you might have this more skin damage. Secondly, avoid alcohol and smoking. Again, this, as I said, 
it alters the agni and everyone knows like a smoke otherwise also avoid uh, alcohol and smoking it alters the agni and it, uh, it creates a dushi wish in your body so that you should avoid this is a very important thing as gruta path gruta is a ghee because you have to uh, there is lot of dryness as i said the bath and pitta in the body increases uh, when you are pregnant and to calm down that gruta is very important and now when to have this gruta or when to have the ghee ayurved tells that there are 11 uh, aushadi sevan kal like when you should be having ghee is very important you know when you have the ghee with the food it creates bruhan bruhan in the sense making your body fat so during your pregnancy you can if you uh, if you are underweight then you can definitely take that but if you want to take grutapan to lubricate your body or to act as a rasayan now what is rasayan um in way it is we can call it like an anti aging in a layman's term we can have a lecture about rasayan some other time but to understand it is a kind of which will make all your body tissues um to grow let i mean it avoids you to grow from older things it's anti aging treatment so if you want to give anything as an anti aging you have to take it before early in the morning and at night so these are the two timings which you should be having now we want to we are taking this grutapan to lubricate your body and it is not just for the skin health but you know if you regularly take grutapan your deliveries will be smoother and this has been uh, we have been experiencing it in our college also those who are taking grutta or uh, uh, any um, a grutta or oil we see the body prakriti and we uh, say but because for a general thing we say a normal cow's ghee is important like it, it, it can suit every body constitution so just one teaspoon in hot water if you take it early morning every day right from the first month of pregnancy i would say that before you are planning you have to start this grutapana which is very very important and uh, lubricating the body externally and internally also so internally grutapana will work and for externally abhyanga abhyanga is oil massage which is very important for the skin health and to make the body lubrication like uh, and the vata dosha as it with the oil or with the oil massage it reduces and so the dryness in the body can be reduced and you can avoid many of the symptoms so we will go by each symptom like so first is the hyperpigmentation as i said hyper is more pigmentation like the brown spots so you can see the darkening of certain body parts like your armpit your neck folds your private parts your nipples and areola they turn darker because as i said because of the hormonal imbalance then what you see is a pregnancy mark i can show you the pictures also so the pregnancy mark can you see it's a mask like you know you see it's like a butterfly like appearance from the nose it spreads on the cheeks sometimes you can see it on the forehead also the darkening of the skin these are called as pregnancy mask or melasma or chloresma you can other thing is see, hyperpigmentation can you see this line this is called as linea nigra linea nigra which from the pubic bone it can go to the umbilicus it can go till the chest also this is one of the thing and this is particular to pregnant ladies okay the hyperpigmentation what you saw it we can get it even for a normal like you know whenever wherever there is hormonal imbalance say during the menarche or uh, during the menopause then also you see this melasma but this is a particular thing which you see only during the pregnancy now what are the pregnancy rituals to avoid the hyperpigmentation first of all it's a good news that most of them it reduces so there is nothing to worry about it if you have a hyperpigmentation during the pregnancy after the delivery nearly 80% of the women they experience that within 3 to 4 months it disappears so there is nothing to worry but if you have a genetic disposition like you know your uh, mother and grandmother if they are having this then there are chances that it can remain and it is very very difficult
to treat. So I would say that we have to do something to prevent it because treatment of melasma, not just in pregnancy, maybe I can say that pregnancy melasma can be treated or can vanish in most of the women. But the otherwise, what melasma you see during menopause or during menarche and due to some hormonal imbalance, you know, we jokingly say that if, if a patient comes to you with a melasma, what you have to do, you send him or her to a, your enemy doctor because it is not going to get cured. It is that difficult to cure. But luckily, we have certain things in Ayurveda which has given a very good results in melasma also. And uh, we don't want to go in for this. So we will try to avoid it. So what to do for avoid it? First of all, before avoiding, if in case if you notice this hyperpigmentation, then there are uh, many of the women, they go OTC to buy the OTC drugs. You know, you get this skin lightening creams and all. So it contains uh, something called as retinoids, hydroquinone, tretinoin, and these are strictly no, it's our banned because it can go into your bloodstream and that it can affect your baby's health. So whenever you want to buy anything, you have to go to a doctor and get it uh, prescribed because these are three things you should be looking out in your cosmetic products if these thing, things are there in your uh, in your cream, whatever you are applying, then you should not be using because you can have birth. You can they are uh, they can induce birth defects in the uh, in the fetus. So what are the even for the safe skin lightening creams? What you can uh, see for the cosmetics or which you can on your own also use. There's a licorice or gestum or what we say, turmeric, saffron, ananthamol. So this. Jeshtama, turmeric, saffron, all these things, they are called as garbhada. That means they are beneficial even for the fetus. So luckily, they are they can act as a skin lightening agent. Plus, they can act to improve the baby's health. So you have to look, look for these ingredients in, the, uh, in your cream or whatever you're applying. Or directly also, if you can just make a paste of it and apply and you can start using it when you know that you are a pregnant you know right from the first trimester you start using this you can have uh, even the oral uh, medicines which contain these medicines you can take those to prevent from hyperpigmentation but whenever you are taking any oral uh, supplement you have to visit your doctor because each and every body is different we uh, because body constitution we give medicines it is not a single formula like you have to see the body constitution so whenever you are taking any oral medicines see your doctor first so these are the and one more thing because see this saffron turmeric you can get it in your kitchen also so is it safe to use something from a kitchen so think twice because in the kitchen in this masala ka dabba, you have other things also. Like you have pepper, you have uh, 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 what you say, uh, mirchi powder. So you should be very careful in doing this. Plus, there are a lot of adulteration happening in these. The saffron, what you get is just the corn threads, which are colored and which are given to you. So you buy these from a, uh, from a, a source which you know, like, you know, or from your doctor, you can get this and apply. Then Abhyanga is the oil massage. Now, what are the th what are the oils which are good? There is something called as Kinshukadi oil, Kumkumadi oil, Chandanbala Lakshadi oil. These are very important for a uh, skin health during pregnancy to prevent hyperpigmentation. And this can be the treatment also for hyperpigmentation. See to it that. Kinshukadi oil, Chandanbala, Lakshadi oil, just see the ingredients into it. It will have all these ingredients and th these are very safe to be used during pregnancy. Because the herbs what we are using in this Abhyanga oil, they are Garbhada. That means they are, uh, they are very good to improve the health of the fetus. Now there are certain things which you can consume. First is a turmeric milk. Then if you are... Uh, intolerant to milk there are like people who are intolerant for the lactic intolerance what we say then you can just have turmeric in warm water and that you should be taking at night which is 
very beneficial. Then you can have colored vegetables and fruits because this has a lot of vit vitamin B12 and it is very important for the skin health. And one more secret fruit, what we say is water chestnut or what in common uh, language we say shingada, which is very, very important for skin health, not just in pregnancy, but otherwise also. So you can uh, have uh, like a custard made out of water chestnut or you can have the paratha or you can mix it in your rotis. And this is very good for skin health, for your baby's skin, as well as for the baby's health. Other thing is tender coconut water. That is also very good for healthy skin, especially for the hyperpigmentation. And again, as I said, proper exercise and good sleep, it is. it will come in all the skin-related problems during pregnancy. These are the must. So these are some herbs like jeshtamad, then this is haridra, then anantamul, and the kesar or the saffron. So this is my, which is a kinshukadi oil. We have got a very good results with this on the pigmentation. Now this, everyone knows, this is a stretch marks. Okay. So why the stretch mark comes? So when we know that uh, our ab abdominal uh, wall, it stretches. There is an excessive stretching in the abdominal skin. So our skin is elastic. So think of the elastic rubber band when you are stretching the rubber band you know it can withstand to certain things but after a while sometimes some rubber band they get they break so there are chances this our skin elasticity depends on the elastin and collagen fibers inside our skin so sometimes it can permanently damage and this stretch marks can remain permanently so we would say that rather treating the stretch marks, we have to do something to prevent it. Now, what way we can prevent it? Think of the rubber again. So, if you have a bigger rubber, it will withstand the pressure. So, you have to create that elastin and collagen fibers which are strong enough. So, how we can do it? There, we say that all these elastin and collagen fibers according to Ayurveda, it's a kapha dosha, which is important for this. So for improving this, we have to lubricate. You have to lubricate from inside and from outside. So the local application and as I said, the grutapan. There are also some of the gruta which is medicated. What we say, a shatavari grut or jeshtamad grut, which are very, very important for skin health and for prevent prevention of the stretch marks. From the second, because of... We say that we start at least from the second trimester, you have to moisturize your skin with the moisturizing cream, particularly with the arms and thighs and abdomen. And this stretch marks, it not just happens in the pregnancy, you know. Otherwise also, whenever you are like, if you, uh, you know, your weight increases or in that time also, and you suddenly reduce it, then also there is a damage in the elastin and collagen fibers then you may get stretch marks. So for that, um, lubrication is very, very important with the moisturizing creams and oil massage. It's very important. And I would say that we recommend all our uh, patients to do Nabi Puran right from when they decide to get pregnant. Nabi Puran is uh, putting oil in the uh, navel. Because, you know, all the health of the below the umbilicus, what we say is pelvis, is governed by dosha, which is called as apanavayu. I think you are the student of Nutan, so you must be knowing about uh, Ayurveda and uh, what is apanavayu and uh, what is the function of apanavayu. It regulates all the functions of the organ which are in the pelvis. So if you want to control or if you want to maintain that upon why you function properly nabi puran is very very important so it we say that uh, when you plan for a baby you start doing a nabi puran and it is very simple like simple oil you can take you can take coconut oil or you can take uh, sesame oil or medicated oil as a shatavari grut shatavari oil there are different chandan bala lakshadi oil so just fill your navel with the oil and put any gauze or something at night and go to sleep that's a simple thing what you have to do i think everyone can do that 
and we have observed that you know not just for the pregnant ladies but uh, the young girls during their periods they get pain so this is a very simple remedy no need of taking any painkiller start this nabi puran at least 7 days before the preg before the periods and most of them within 2 to 3 months they have observed that without taking any medicines their period pain has disappeared so this is a simple technique what you can follow and uh, this is very good for apanvayu for uh, a safe delivery also a normal delivery can be achieved if you just do the nabi puran so what you have to do you have to just fill in the nabi and you do now the massage you have to do we advise that you do a self massage don't go for any um, massage masseurs or because they should be trained enough to massage it and um when you massage your belly you are actually talking with the baby so you are giving love to the baby so the mother can give maximum love so we said that on your own you can massage it is a light massage and wherever you are uh, massaging the abdomen it should be done like i'll show you you start from your right you go up like this inside and then so you have to massage like in a circular way so that is a proper massage technique you should follow you can also massage on the thighs on the back because there you get the stretch marks i'm just talking not just for the stretch mark but otherwise also for a general health and for a safe uh, delivery it is important for nabi puran and abhyang oil so when you are looking out for a skin health uh, what are the ingredients that you should be looking for a moisturizing cream or in the oil so there is one which is called as shatta dhuta ghruta that is 100 time washed ghee so what we do just take a, a cow's milk and we put it in a copper plate and we put water then we just how you make like a cake batter you just churn it and then throw the water this is one time when you do it for 100 times you get a buttery constitution like you know a, a consistency like thing that we call it as shatta dhuta ghruta and it has been proven that there is a um one um, scientific paper was been published wherein they have done a um, comparison between shatta dhuta ghruta shia butter coco butter mango butter and they have observed that the penetration power of shatta dhuta ghruta is much more than any other butters and why this can happen because you know we say that um, there are certain sanskar or when you do mardan this is a sanskar what we say so the potency increases and there are chances that maybe the nanoparticles must be generated and that's why the penetration power is more when you use shatta dhuta ghruta so a simple shatta dhuta ghruta also you get it in the market is you can apply it on your uh, skin to prevent the Uh, stretch marks and there are certain creams which has shatta dhuta ghruta into it you can use that and the other thing is kokum butter i always say that you know you have to use a product wherein uh, now kokum butter is very indian so we are used to in generations we've been using it so i always say that don't try something very fancy you know the things which your ancestors have been using it you try to use that so these are the simple things like abhyanga oil now abhyanga oil you get with the same name as abhyanga oil and this also has a skin friendly uh, uh, herbs into it and also they are good for the fetus health so you can apply abhyanga oil or shatta dhuta ghruta or kokum butter and massage your belly and your back and the thighs where you you can get a stretch marks then that then there are certain herbs like neem bala centella rose petal jasmine flower these are also very good to improve the collagen and elastin fibers uh, in the skin now there have been lot of uh, studies done for the centella what we call as go to kola or mandukarni what we say so this is very important to and they have seen that using centella the creams which has a potent centella into it they have reversed the stretch mark which is very 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 difficult i would say you know prevention of stretch marks is easier than treating it because just with the local application 
there are less chances that your stretch marks will diminish or will reduce. But centella is the one uh, herb that they have seen a promising results. Then eating kshira sarpi. Now, what is this kshira sarpi? It's the sarpi is again gruta or the ghee and which is taken out from milk. So when you churn the milk, the malai, what you get, you know, the fat, what you get, that if you clarify it, if you just heat it and the uh, the ghee, what you get is called as kshira sarpi. And it has been said that if you eat that kshira sarpi, your elastin and collagen fibers develop. So it becomes stronger so that there are less chances that you can get a stretch marks. And there is one more thing, which is a masanumasic quad. So what is this masanumasic quad? So Ayurveda gives each and every month your uh, baby's certain organs develop. And there are certain changes happening in your body too. So Ayurveda gives for each month, they have different quad or different herbs. And uh, in our uh, clinic, we give the specialized masanomasic quad. You also get it uh, outside, but just go and visit your Ayurvedic doctor. And um, if you follow this masanomasic quad, like per month, different quads, then it is good to for a baby's health. And also it is good for your own health, especially your skin health. So this is the Abhyanga oil, as, as I say. Yeah. One more thing. Now, in spite of doing all these things, if you still get the stretch marks, then what to do? And I always say to my patients that, you know, when um, the yodha, they go to a battlefield, what happens? They get many scars and many on their wounds. And what they do? They proudly flaunt it because it's the... Just a minute, huh? So it's their warrior, it's, it's the science of the war. So, you know, you have to flaunt it. Don't just hide it, just flaunt it. Next is a pregnancy acne. Now, why this happens, pregnancy acne? Because there is a lot of secretion of uh, certain hormones and that's why your, uh, your, uh, this, um, the sebaceous glands, there is hyperactivity in the sebaceous gland and that's why you might get the acne. So for this, you get different creams. Particularly, they contain any acne cream, they contain salicylic acid and retinoids, which is strictly no. So don't, don't buy any OTC product or the products, anti-acne products, which contain salicylic oil and retinoids. It can affect your baby's health because it can reach to the bloodstream. The safe herbs are licorice, neem, tulsi, sandalwood and manjishta. These are the safe herbs to be used during pregnancy acne. This practice gandush, which is also very important. Now, what is this? You take water or any, which is called as oil pulling also. But I say that uh, this is not uh, like even if you do it with simple water is important. Just take a water, fill it the mouth with water and splash water on your face. By thereby, it, it can tighten your muscles. And then when you feel that you cannot hold the water, throw the water and you repeat that maybe three to four times in the morning, afternoon and at night. This is very important to prevent pregnancy acne. Again, avoid spicy fried and junk food. Wash your face with durvaras, trifala quat or just with plain water. This is very important because of the even if the sebaceous glands are hyperactive and it gets blocked, only then you'll get the acne. So you have to see that the pores are not getting blocked. And these are the herbs you can use. You can wash it with it or you can uh, just with plain water also you can use. And important thing is do not try to pierce the acne because the acne will subside as your pregnancy ends. But if the scar remains, then it becomes very, very difficult to treat. See, as I was talking about, the skin tags and hypersense, hyperact. Can you see this red patches and all? This is a hypersensitivity of the skin. Now, even this, it to removal of the tag, we would say that there are different things uh, that with which you can um, go in for. Like, 
it can be due to increase in the pitta and vata dosha. So you have to avoid spicy, stale and junk food. Moisturize it with Shatadauta Gruta because it is very cooling with aloe vera gel. Be cautious to use a fresh aloe vera gel because when you cut the aloe vera gel, there is white thing which comes from the aloe vera leaf, which is very, very, uh, it can create more of the hypersensitivity. So you have to only use the inside part of it, like a, a watery thing. I would say that instead of that, just get an aloe vera gel, which you get it in outside. Then if the symptom persists, for this itching and hypersensitivity, especially with the skin itching and hypersensitivity, you have to go and visit the doctor because it can be serious problem with the liver function. You know, your liver function must have been altered and because of that, you are getting this hypersensitivity. So go and visit the doctor if this is not getting cured with these simple things. It's about the skin tags. If the skin tags are bothering you, only then you try to remove it. Otherwise, don't do anything to it. After your pregnancy ends, only then you go. Because the lasers are strictly no. So if you want to remove it, you have to remove only with the method which is called as RF or the radio frequency. I would say that don't go in for any of the treatments for skin tag. Just wait. Let the pregnancy end and only then you can go in for the removal of the pregnancy tags. And also we have certain herbs which you can put it on the tags which are slightly uh, what we say with the chemical. It chemically burns, you know, your tags and it gets removed. So all these things you should be trying only after the pregnancy ends. What are the skin treatments which should avoid? Like during the pregnancy you see like, you know, you. Otherwise, also, there are certain things, many treatments are available. So, this Botox, fillers and chemical peels, it has been proved that, you know, it can enter into the systemic things and it's a strict no to go in for these treatments. Then laser hair reduction, this is also because not enough data has been found. So, you avoid this, then again, tattoos. Just wait for the pregnancy to end only then because it directly goes into the blood. So, it is not... A, good advice to get tattoos done during your pregnancy. Then hair Botox, hair rebonding. This also has formaldehydes into it, which are in higher doses can be carcinogenic and which is not good for your baby's health. So don't ever go for Botox or rebonding. You can go in for a simple facials because it is again with the massage and all it gives a uh, Uh, what are the, I know uh, it's time to end. So just must do what you should be doing. It's stay happy because then only your happy hormones will secret. Eat well, do yoga, bhyas. you are with Nutan. So Dr. Nutan, so definitely she'll take care of it and accept the changes. Your body is preparing for something new. So accept the changes and feel proud that you are bringing the life in the world. So, and enjoy this day. Thank you. If you have any question and answers, you can ask. Thank you very much, Dr. Priya. This was uh, just amazing to know how many new details. And I'm, I think, all in to try most of it to myself and to family, friends, whoever needs it. So uh, I think before we take the question and answer sessions, I would request any of the students here who would like to share their feedback as given it's AYJ's uh, Founders Day. So it would be lovely to hear something short. And... Yeah, before that, uh, no, I would request uh, Dr. Priya to just uh, take out that slide. And thank you so much. It was really great, great uh, session and deep information which you have shared. Although we have less time and student also today is Raksha Bandhan, so everyone wants to go. So just need to wrap up. Yes, if any student wants to share their feedback, so we can go ahead with that. And uh, since you all are my students, so I will not talk much on my topic. I will skip that uh, today. Yes, anyone wants to share anything? Any any feedback? Hiralji, Kritika, since we can see your camera on, so hopefully you will say something. It was a great session, ma'am. 
i learned a lot like very informative and thank you so much we we are literally grateful that you are giving this opportunity we are learning lot of things from you thank you priya ma'am and shweta ma'am it was really helpful the knowledge you gave and we'll try to apply it in our daily life and also we'll teach our, our patient and everyone around us to uh, use this techniques and use this uh, new new uh, things which we have learned so thank you so much for the information thank you dr priya and dr shweta bahut hi jo bhi knowledge aaj hame mila hai it's additional और वो हमें जरूर हमारे फ्यूचर में भी काम आएगा और डेली लाइफ में काम आएगा तो इट्स वेरी गिफ्ट इट्स टूडे गिफ्ट फॉर अस डॉक्टर डॉक्टर नूतन हेज गिवन एंड थैंक यू सो मच और टू मच ऑफ ब्लेसिंग्स टू ऑल द डॉक्टर्स श्वेता मैम डॉक्टर प्रिया मैम एंड डॉक्टर नूतन मैम योर प्रैक्टिस go for long 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 and you spread your work to the world thank you so much thank you thank you bas yahi chahiye aur kuch nahi chahiye hai na dr nutan yes sahi hai dr nutan i would just interrupt in between and say ki aap humko hamare classes mein sessions mein itna kuch dete ho aur aaj jab ki itna important day hai aapke liye ki birthday celebration jaisa hai aapne humko itna kuch de diya aaj getting dr priya and dr shweta and opening this new world to us aur i think ek guru dakshna ki taraf se aaj main aisa chahungi aur sab students ko bhi bolungi i know everybody wants to do ki hum sare jitne आज डॉक्टर्स थे स्पीकर्स थे उनकी जो जो स्पेशलाइजेशन uh, है हम अपनी तरफ से और जितना आगे ले जा सके और आप सबको हम भी इनवाइट कर सके एंड टू पास दिस नॉलेज एंड क्रिएट अ सस्टेनेबल फ्यूचर इन एवरी पॉसिबल वे थैंक यू सो मच मैम बिग ग्रेटिट्यूड टू ऑल ऑफ यू Yes, with this, I think uh, we should conclude. It's a respecting time and uh, thank you is very small word if i can you know just say here but really i feel like it's a great celebration having you all and sharing your knowledge expertise with the student and spending so much uh, time specifically uh, both of you dr sweta and dr priya and my all student my all student and whoever even i don't know i asked everyone to please share this whoever wants to come let them come so if you all are here thank you for being here and if you want to learn more uh, we have with academy we have courses consultation and uh, even a uh, pre recorded format workshop uh, content related to ayurved yoga and garbh sanskar and i think we can expand more in future uh, having dr priya and dr sweta with me whenever dr sweta visit next time india definitely we will have wonderful uh, brain scanning uh, so we will inform in advance if you are interested please uh, uh, let us know your interest so that we can organize better way and we have even dr priya's uh, place available if my place uh, is not that much sure. bigger than we have dr priya also i am taking her into consideration of being course, a friend yes. uh, <laughs> yes. and i know she will never say no and uh, we will definitely invite you dr priya for, for sharing this in depth understanding in our prenatal courses because in that type of course we need this uh, detail so in event little bit you know time constraint so we may not be able to give you that much uh, time but still you shared a lot and i hope my students enjoyed it so we would like to have your feedback and i think saru can now conclude with chanting uh, prayer or do you want me to conclude dr saru ma'am would love to hear from you in the ending okay. session thank fine, you fine. so much ma'am fine. fine so we conclude with chanting purnamadam mantra so request all of you to please uh, sit straight back neck straight close your eyes take some time to contemplate remind yourself that you are beautiful soul we all are here for certain purpose and we are connecting with each other 
for making this world beautiful. This whole two hour session, whatever knowledge you can just recollect the points inside you and contemplate later. Just sit silent and take a long deep breath, deep breathe out. Hands in Namaste Mudra. Relax your whole body, top to bottom. Face, neck, shoulder, relax. And now let us chant together Purna Madam. If you know the prayer, you can join me or just feel the vibration. Inhale. Purnamadam Be Purnamidam Purnamat Purnamudachati Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishati O Shanti 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 just sit in silence, feel the vibration, let the breath come to the normal pattern and then gently rub your palm, cup your eyes, cup your face and spread this energy all your body parts, bow down, offer the gratitude to Mother Earth and the whole energy around us. Then gently open your eyes with gentle smile and gratitude. Thank you so much. Wish you all very, very happy Raksha Bandhan. And uh, take care. God bless you all. Once again, thanks a lot. And Saru, you did wonderful hosting. How can I not say thank you to you? You are looking beautiful. Skin and brain and uterus, everything is <laughs> in some harmonized way, peaceful way. That's what our tagline. So thank you so much. If you want to say last anything, you can. You are most welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, all the speakers and all the participants. It was just a wonderful session. And I think it will be with us in our heart with very beautiful memories for a very long time. Thank you so much. Yes, if you have any question for Dr. Priya, I think we didn't get time to ask her question. Please write to us. We will pass it to her and then we can answer. And uh, then we will be connect in connection whenever, whatever way we can. And Hiralji, you are so lucky, Dr. Sweta, and you stay in one place. So you try to miss the, I don't know where the location, but definitely you have chance to connect to her. Yes, Dr. Swinta and Dr. Priya, would you like to say something last for us? Yeah. Keep growing. I think uh, keep spreading this knowledge. I think we have to do it with us. We have to do it with us. We have to do it with us. So all the best going forwards and many, many, many congratulations. Char ka chalis to abhi ho jayega. Char so karenge, phir char azar karenge. Upar wala hai na, hari itta. Yes, like after life, we will be some connection might be there, yes. Yes, Dr. Priya. All the best to you, Dr. Nutan. And we are very, very proud of you. You're doing a great job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's have a nice click. Memories, you know, I'm clicking one picture, screenshot. So and now I request, may I request if you want to get click with us, please open your <laughs> camera. <laughs> we should have used this trick before. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. Chalo. Smile. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I'll share this picture. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you, Thank Dr. Nutan. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Yes. And congratulations. Finding out. Thank yeah. You, Thank you. Thank you.